what could we expect from season two from Sip of the Bell? I mean, which did you watch? I watched Sip of the Bell. And I'm a lot older than you, so yeah. No, I I wasn't. You know, yeah, I wasn't yeah. around. I don't think alive. Per maybe. Se. Yeah, yeah. Um, I don't even think I was a thought. Well. I definitely wasn't a thought. I kind of just was a surprise there. That's a story for the time. Um, but no, I mean, the show is like a satirical take on the original, which yeah. if you've watched. Um, and it's sort of like a self-aware um, version of the show that we all love. Yeah. And season two is just like a whole nother level. I mean, we kind of have like this like weird mystery element, which is very fun. Ooh, okay. Like a little story to follow this year, which okay. is exciting. And then just getting to see like all the OGs coming back. Yeah. Lark Voorhees, uh, who cares? Kills it and like everyone else, which is awesome. So, That's, so wait, did fun. you watch any of the reruns? Because I just have a question. It's a very serious Save by the Book question. Are you oh, more please. Zach Morris or AC Slater? I'm such a Zach Morris. Okay, Zach Morris. Are you okay, me? okay, okay. Yeah, literally Mario can like shut up. Yeah, I I loved I loved both, but I was fascinated that he always came out in the wrestling uniform. Zach Morris is beautiful. Later, I was like, okay, AC no, Slater, your spandex. Is like he's like the funny like the nerdy. Here's the annoying Zach, thing about like, him. He still amazing. looks like, Mario Lopez oh, still no. looks like that. What <laughs> fountain has he found? Mario is bionic. It's He's crazy perfect. and rude. Um, so wait, you're a producer on the show, which is awesome. So as a trans person, like, how has that helped with telling authentic stories? Yeah, I mean, well, um, and so like when the show was brought to me, it was like, Obviously, very exciting opportunity, but I felt that it was like super important that if I was gonna like step away from school and then tell this story in like yeah. the most authentic way possible, that the only way I could do that is obviously, you know, have some sort of representation on both sides of the camera, not just in front of it. And that producerial role, I feel like, allows us to tell more of an authentic story because there wasn't 100%. any trans representation yeah. um, among among the producers. And I feel yeah. like because of it, it's more entertaining and it's more interesting and it's more, like it's I said, authentic. So it's more diverse. Yeah, yeah. Thank so you. Inspiring. And it's it's important. It's yeah. important that we don't only just, um, you know, diversify our cast, but also the people telling the stories, which is an awesome that we get to do it. I think it's so cool. Do you have a desire to do behind the scenes as well as on camera? Yes, definitely. Yeah. She's I'm, like, boom all the way. Yeah. I'll do, <laughs> take your boom any day. Boom. No, yeah. I'm, um, I'm a producer on Emily, too, which yeah. is really exciting. Oh, so cool. um, I didn't know if that's something you really want to pursue. Yes, yeah. I, I love all aspects of the industry, and I've always wanted to create stories from the ground up yeah. and, and be involved That's in all cool. aspects. Even when I wasn't asked to be, I would always try to be involved in some yeah, way. I love that. Now I just love having the title that allows me to feel like I actually can. But yeah. I feel like with season two, having had the experience season one of, of being able to give, be given the gift of critical um, and creative criticism and taking that and going, okay, what can we do to, to be better, to do better? Right. Um, we made it a really big um, point to also diversify and, and include more in front of the camera as well as behind with, awesome. with our crew and, and the creators and the storytellers. So I really do mm -hmm. think it's, like you said, to, 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 to say again, like it's so important to have diversity and inclusion be a part On of all fronts. Yeah. representation. All fronts. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And by the way, you know what's so funny? I, I just, just came to my head. I didn't even think of it before when they asked if we know each other. We don't know each other. But one of your writers, like yeah. taught a class of mine in oh, college. Oh, really? Her name is Robin. Oh, yeah. Oh, my yeah, God, like funny. Robin fully taught like that's in COVID. So... I know random? Robin, too. That's so, so cool crazy. that we all know that's Robin. <laughs> I know Robin, too. I'm just kidding. No, yeah, no that is, it's a so small sick. world. Robin here's, also part Here's the best part, though. I love about this. What just happened is like we do like a panel show, right? And like you think people don't know each other, but it's such a small world. Right. Not even just like celebrities. Like there will be a non-celebrity be like, oh, yeah, they worked with our organization. It's the craziest, it's coolest crazy. thing. And that's what we love about the panel here I'm gonna is start, that that um, happens. I'm going to start parking in your spot now. You should. I promise if you're going to park in any of us, I'll park in yours. Anyone is welcome to mine if I'm not in it. You can park in mine if you're down to hike. It's like running. And here's why they like probably gave me that spot, block. too. Not because I'm like famous or this, just because they were like, she drives a huge truck and there's, there's nowhere to put truck. it.